railways. They're fun, but they're normally not done in Minecraft, and that's for one reason and one reason only. Everyone, and I mean everyone, has elytras immediately when they get into their worlds. And luckily, uh, well, at least I'm pretty sure, look in here, I uh, don't think I see any elytra. Do you see an elytra? I didn't think so. So today, we are going to make a railway system, and it's going to lead to multiple places in our little place here. So yeah, we're just going to start mining a little tunnel here. Now, in order to do this, we're going to have our coordinates at the top left. I normally don't have them there, but we need them for this. I'm thinking if we go down to about Y. Uh, not, not this steep. All right, everyone, I have finished the railway system. We don't have much of an entrance right now, but it's down here. This is it. Look at this. Pretty cool, I know. The reason why I want this is because I added a mod that makes Minecrafts go faster because they should be faster. They're too slow in vanilla Minecraft for their own good. So I want to use this kind of has like a main transport system in my world of course it'll take like ages make tunnels going everywhere but it'll be like a side project project and it'll kind of connect everything and also with the mod it makes it go way faster here let's just give a little little showcase look how fast this is we just went from all the way over here to over here I'll, I'll put the i'll put the seconds in in like right here in the top right but yeah that's pretty fast and i think it's even faster than me using my riptide trident since i have to like you know track all the way over around the mountain to get in here but yeah we're going to be connecting this to other spots we have in the world for example here in our abandoned mesa village i i don't really have a name for it yet i do need to get an official name but yeah um we need to like finish the outside of it because <laughs> yeah it might be a bit unfinished but i do have an idea to continue this and i really do need to finish the terrain because we have someone coming in for a tour on the 20th episode and i don't want them seeing seeing this um this mess of a terrain over here there's one thing i have to do in the last episode you guys commented some names for my pets so let's get some name tags and go name them so we now have the names on the name tags and we're going to give them to each pet the first name is Herbalius saki sackums Herbalius sackums hello Herbalius sackums how are you that's good that's good i think he likes his name guys i think he really loves his names and we give you the name mr wolfums and we give you the name lobster it is kind of fitting you do just sit here at, at the deck of um or whatever this is called just looking out in the ocean most of the time 
Oh, shut up, lobster. And now we just need names for this armadillo here. Oh my god, the moon makes it so bright. This armadillo here. And our little, little axolotl friend I just got. This will be our second axolotl. He's a light blue one. This is my favorite color. So yeah, you guys can suggest these down below in the comments. And I might just choose them. I know this is most likely a shorter episode, but I didn't have much. I didn't, well, I didn't give myself much time to do this episode. And I mean, I did the goal of this episode to make the railway system, or at least the start of it. And we named the pets. So, I mean, not much else to do. So if you want to see the rest of the series, then go to the right to see the playlist of all the episodes. And if you want to see what we did last episode, then click over here to the left where we did a lot. And I mean a lot of detailing in the land right over there. So yeah, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.